ago, I considered myself an ordinary citizen of both Russia and Palestine. I always considered it great that I was from two countries instead of one. Yet, somehow, it wasn't enough. Somehow, I didn't feel like I really belonged anywhere. I felt lost and confined, or rather, tied down to a limited area. However, today, I feel like a part of something big, something grander than all the countries combined. Today, I think of myself as a citizen of the entire cosmos, a cosmic citizen. I'd like to share with you my personal journey in becoming a cosmic citizen. It took a while, but the lessons I've learned will remain with me for the rest of my life. The first stage was becoming scientifically literate. Science has given us not just empirical knowledge about the universe, but also the tools and the technology to explore it. These days, it is far too easy to acquire false information through our social media. Hoaxes abound on the internet. In the past, I would have been led astray by a few of these articles. However, on my journey to becoming a cosmic citizen, I learned that we must question everything we're told instead of blindly believing it. We must research, evaluate, and debate until we are satisfied and absolutely convinced. The future depends on us continuing to explore, challenge, test, and verify what we believe. For the longest time, and even today, people feared natural events such as eclipses and full moons. They would create superstitions about them. They did this because they lacked the knowledge to understand what was happening and simply made stuff up. However, it is science and the scientific method that has allowed us to explain things. As aspiring cosmic citizens, we must embrace objective truth and reject superstition. Reason, nature, happiness, progress, and liberty are all important values of the age of enlightenment. And that is why to promote them is the third step. Being cosmic citizens does not imply that we be only interested in what is beyond our sky. It also implies that we take active interest in benefiting the human race and all aspects of life. The age of enlightenment broke people free from their chains of ignorance and allowed them to finally use reason, ask questions, and be skeptical. Being cosmic citizens involves continuing in this great and noble tradition of transforming society and the human condition through reason, science, and compassion. Just like everything else in life, the acceptance of being a cosmic citizen cannot be accomplished very quickly. We must gradually develop and adjust ourselves to the changes in our lifestyles, which is why joining an astronomy group is step number four. Astronomy clubs are a great way to gain knowledge about the mysteries of the universe and the wonders and the marvels of the cosmos. To be cosmic citizens, we must make an effort to learn about the cosmos and delve deeper into the field of astronomy. We must make ourselves aware of the scale of the universe and of the mysteries that abound within it. We must marvel at how much we know about the universe. But at the same time, we must also admit there's a lot we don't know. The cosmic citizen is not afraid to admit that they don't have the answer to everything, but instead would make an endeavor to find answers and seek solutions. What do Brian Cox and Carl Sagan have in common, aside from the fact that they spread their astounding ideas to the world? 
Both of them are part of step five. Being aware of inspiring science authors. These men not only changed the visions of most humans, but also inspired them to acquire a greater education of the universe around them. They taught the human race numerous things through science. From them, we learn about many of the endless wonders of the universe and the thrill behind their discovery. However, step five is not only knowing about authors, but also people, inspiring and extremely enthusiastic people who make you brim with passion and excitement for astronomy, like David Deutsch, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Jason Silva. I still remember the time Jason Silva came to the Winchester School in 2013, because it was my first time seeing him in real life. At the time, I recall not having a very thorough understanding of what he did, or even much interest in science. However, I don't think I can ever forget the way he spoke, with more and more passion pouring out of him with every syllable he pronounced, even when he spoke of our ordinary lives. I remember watching at least 10 of his videos as soon as I got home and following him on every social network I could. I began to constantly listen, watch, and read his ideas or the posts he shared, unknowingly gaining surplus knowledge and insight on astronomy, science, and technology. The enthusiasm of speakers like these is so contagious that simply by listening to their talks or reading their quotes, people find themselves becoming scientifically literate and intrigued by science. When becoming a cosmic citizen, your sense of awe at the beauty and the complexity of life is enhanced. What was once mundane is imbued with significance and consequence. Moving on to step six, joining movements with cosmic perspectives like the Human Project, Serious Wonder, and Intelligent Optimism. Valid, positive accomplishments of people in the modern age are almost always buried by the negative news that people usually focus on. This is why Intelligent Optimism was founded right here in the Winchester School. It spreads hope and intelligible enthusiasm about the future of the human race and has now reached over 100,000 followers worldwide. Organizations like these spread awe, informed optimism, and ignite everyone's minds with the fire of passion for not only our planet, but also the universe we live in. Joining these sorts of movements is entertaining, eye-opening, and extremely educational. The seventh stage of this process is spreading the cosmic perspective and educating others. This can be done through many different ways, such as clubs, TEDx conferences, and social groups. This must be done sincerely and with conviction. We must spread awe and wonder as Aristotle said, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. The final step in the stairway to cosmic citizenship is doing something for humanity. I personally believe that this final step is the most important of all. I'm still on my journey towards that final step. I urge you to join me. Let us leave behind the act of defining ourselves by our nationalities. Let us spread knowledge like a wildfire that burns ignorance. Let us become cosmic citizens.